Yeah. Obviously, people who join any of my five groups, so far I have five, they don't bother to read the group description. It's really a good idea to read the group description, anyone's group, before you join it. That group in particular has no rules. Anything and everything goes. Um, because I made it one day. I was in a crazy mood. I made it as a total goof. I didn't expect it to go anywhere. Okay. I just did it out of rebellion because so many groups I belong to in the past, other people's groups, were like little dictatorships. You know, there was no freedom of speech. And you would get reprimanded and lectured and threatened. Especially if the female was an administrator. They loved to threaten men. You know, like working for a male, working for a female boss, female supervisor. Oh, always threatening, threatening, threatening. Well, I'll throw you off. I'll kick you off. And you couldn't say anything. You couldn't say anything critical about anything, even though it was the truth. Um, so I decided not to have censorship on, um, on most of my groups for that reason, okay, because I don't believe in censorship. And I got sick and tired of uh, every time I, I spoke my mind, having people removing what I said and uh, lecturing me and scolding me and threatening to kick me off. So this group here called... Um, that this group is about nothing. Of course, it's a play on words. It's it's a spin-off of the famous Seinfeld show episode, the, the show about nothing. And, um, you know, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm tired. I mean, people ask you the same crap. Um, usually women, when women meet a man, they ask, two questions. The first things out of their mouth is how old are you and or what do you do? Well, it's refreshing to say, you know, honestly, I do absolutely nothing. And, you know, stop trying to size up my income. I don't do anything at the moment. I'm a highly intelligent person. I'm a hell of a nice guy. I'm generous and kind. I'm very talented. But I'm not doing anything right now. There's nothing shameful in not doing anything. Why should you help some uh, employer, some capitalist, greedy, uh, penny-pinching, skinflint motherfucker get richer than he already is? Because you never get paid what you really deserve, a living wage, you know. It's refreshing to say, I don't do anything. But the group's about nothing. Or it could be about anything. Or nothing. So I have no rules on the group uh, for that reason, uh, purposely. It, it, I meant it to be uh, at a protest for people that have many rules. Okay, don't do this, don't do that. To blow sunshine up each other's ass. If you're not a Pollyanna and you don't kiss everybody's ass and pat them on the back and, 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 and increase their self-esteem and all this shit. And, you know, in other words, don't administer any tough love. Don't tell them the truth ever because you might offend them. So uh, as a result, you have to walk on eggshells all the time out of fear of offending someone. And this is exactly what Facebook executives do. Probably all social media companies do, as well as corporate corporations in general. They kiss ass. They're sycophants. Oh, you can't say that. Oh, you can't tell the customer that. No, customer's always right. No, the customer is not always right. No one is always right. You could be close to being always right, but not always right. So you're working on eggshells. You can't say anything. I had uh, 
Every time there's a scantily clad, very risque photo on the uncensored Anything Goes group, someone is offended and reports it. It's, it's removed. I get all pissed off about it. It's censorship. Or Facebook themselves removes it. A fucking big nose geek cocksucker. I don't know. Maybe he sets the rules. Mark Zucker geek. Zuckerberg, the only, the only reason why he has a, 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 a very uh, cute, attractive Asian girl married to him is because of his money, because he's a fucking big nose geek. You know what I mean? He should be tied up and have a real man bang his wife. That's exactly what should happen. Um, and uh, I'm sure he didn't rise to the top. Uh, without any underhanded tactics. Usually people that get that rich, uh, according to the Bible verse, are not innocent. He who makes haste to be rich is not innocent. So anyway, I get very upset when a risque photo or image is removed from this group. This The group is about nothing. Okay, you can go fuck yourself. If you get offended, quit the group. Leave. You don't like a certain... Radio show, change the station. I don't give a fuck. People are worried too much about others getting offended. I am not online to make your online experience pleasant. I am not on social media to play games. I have a very serious agenda here on social media. If you check out my groups and my two Facebook pages, and if you check out my Twitter channel and you check out my YouTube channel, you will see that I have a very serious agenda. I'm not here to play. I'm not here to show you what I had for lunch. I'm not here to show you my cute little kitty or puppies, which I don't have any. But I'm not here to post photos of my adorable little special kids. Oh, oh how adorable and brilliant my kid is. Well, I don't have any children, but, you know. I know people do that. They talk about, they boast about unimportant things in their private life. Uh, of course, there are members who are very knowledgeable that continue to post great information on their own profiles only. Granted, they do not have a lot of people on their friends list. They're not celebrities. They really have a small amount of people, vo low volume on their friends list, but they rather post the great political uh, comments and uh, images and banners on their profile than to share it with a group that has a few or several thousand members. Higher volume. I, higher volume exposure, I cannot for the life of me figure out the logic of doing this. Um, I don't know if they're so delusional that they think that uh, Mr. Cousins from Ring of Fire or Sank from the, the Young Turks is going to discover them. I don't know what is in their mind, but they do this. I'm not saying they never comment on my high volume groups, but you know, I don't know. I don't know what the logic is of this. They're not stupid people. They're smart people, very, some of them very intelligent, but maybe they got uh, bigger egos than, than they deserve. You know, many of them have an excellent face for radio. <laughs> that was sarcasm. But, um, you know, when I do my weekly show progressive discussions on video with my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, um, I don't pull any punches. Uh, I don't. I'm not like Sank, or or uh, Debbie from the same progressive. You know, getting all melodramatic and effervescent and bubbly and trying to be cute. You know, thinking that's funny and gone babbling like I'm overdosed on on espresso coffee, caffeine. <laughs> I'm not like that. I administer the same tough love on the show. Uh, same hard-hitting 
a hitting below the belt truth that I do on Facebook. I'm not gonna. I'm not Richard Simmons. I'm not gonna get bubbly. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to make you feel good. Okay. So, with that said, I would like to uh, give all my members and everyone on my friends list a sincere Happy New Year 2017. Uh, heaven help us all. We're going to need all the luck we can. Um, it might be the beginning of the uh, United uh, uh, Fascist Oligarch States of America. And uh, unfortunately, it um, doesn't look good. But you people ask for it. You, the American voter, you could have supported Bernie Sanders, but way too many people voted for Hillary Clinton, as well as even more people uh, without a brain cell in their head voted for Donald Trump. You had two great progressives out there, Bernie Sanders and Jill Stein. But did you use logic and intelligence in your voting? No, you did not. You voted for the same corrupt two-party system. You settled for the lesser of the two evils. In this case, uh, the equal of the two evils when you're dealing with Clinton and Trump. Okay, same oligarchy, same fascism, same capitalism, And you got it, man. You asked for it, you got it. Excuse me. I got some very nice... Uh, uh, Yellowtail Shiraz wine, one of my favorite wines from Australia. All right. Anyway, happy pre in New Year's 2017 from James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. We'll see you.